In this demonstration, you're going to see how to configure Storage Replica using Windows Admin Center. So we start here connected to Windows Admin Center. First, I click on SEA SVR1 to connect to that particular server. I go down to the Storage Replica section, open up that blade. I select the Restart Server Automatically and click Install. That will go off and install the Storage Replica roles and features on that server. I then jump to the second server, SEA SVR2, which will be our partner in the Storage Replica, and deploy Storage Replica on that server as well using Windows Admin Center. I come back to the All Connections blade. I check my notifications. I can see that Storage Replica is installing there. Eh, it takes a few minutes to actually occur and the servers need to reboot. Once that's occurred, I go back to SEA SVR1 and click on Storage Replica. This gives me the following options. I can see that there's no partnerships present. So what I do is I go in and click New to create a new partnership. Now I can choose to replicate to an existing server or VM or use a new as your VM. Now you saw me configure it on SEA SVR1 and SVR2. So here I'm doing it with an existing server. But should I so choose, I could actually have the Windows Admin Center console spin up a brand new server in Azure and configure storage replica to replicate from this particular server to a server in Azure. So I click next. I specify my source server. Now in this case, I want it as SEA SVR1 and it checks for the volumes on SEA SVR1. I need to give the replication group a name. I call it RG01. I then specify the volume I want to replicate. So in this case, I want to do the one called data, not log. Then I scroll down and specify my log volume, which will be the volume called log. So then I come down and specify the server to which I'm going to replicate that volume. So it'll be SEA SVR2. It goes and checks SEA SVR2 for volumes. It asks me for a replication name. So I call it RG02. My volume that's going to store the replica will be data. And the volume that stores the logs is going to be called log. And that's just because I pre-configured them with those names. I make sure that synchronous replication is enabled in this case, which you can do if you've got the appropriate latency. So I turn on replication. And once I turn on replication, it goes and sets up the partnership. And then it begins replicating data from one server to the next. So we can see now we've got a replication partnership between SEA SVR1. We can see information about that. We've got our source server is SEA SVR1 and our destination server is SEA SVR2. We can see the, the appropriate names, the log volume size, write consistency, recovery point objectives that exist at this particular moment. We can then go and look at the replicated volumes and we can see that we've got our S drive at 10 gig. We've got more options here. We can suspend replication or we can switch direction of replication. So if we wanted to switch the replication so that it's going from SVR2 to SVR1, we could do that here. We can also go and click on settings here. And when we click on settings, we can see that we can add or remove volumes from this particular partnership. So with storage replica, you can replicate multiple volumes. It's not just one. You can have many volumes replicating depending on which edition of Windows Server you are actually using. So in this particular demonstration, you saw how to enable and configure Storage Replica using Windows Admin Center on Windows Server 2019.